When eating a food or drinking a liquid, we don't normally think about what goes on in our body to allow these processes to occur. That's called peristalsis. Let's learn more about it in the digestive tract. So here's why it's nearly impossible for you to swallow food while laying upside down. So in front here, you can see is your windpipe, that's where Adam's apple is, that's your trachea, and behind that is actually where food passes down. There's a little flap in there called the sphincter. You have one upper sphincter and one lower sphincter in the digestive tract that allows food to pass through that instead of getting into your airway. So when you're chewing food and drinking um, a liquid, you constantly open and close this upper sphincter and then the food that passes down in your lower sphincter. That creates a pretty much vacuum tight seal, which doesn't allow stomach acid to get back up, which would cause um, inflammation and stuff like that in your throat. People who have acid reflux don't have that perfect seal in their throat, both upper and lower, um, which can come to sometimes cause inflammation um, and throat pain um, because that stomach acid in your stomach is actually coming back up and it isn't a perfect seal so it doesn't stay in your stomach alone. Now the way food moves down your digestive tract when you're both swallowing food and drinking liquids is through involuntary muscle contractions that happen inside of your throat called peristalsis. This action of swallowing is kind of just done involuntarily. People don't usually think about swallowing their food because it's kind of just something that we all learn to do. But all these processes occur while you're right side up swallowing food. So what happens while you're upside down? Essentially the same thing happens when you're upside down. Now even right side up, it's actually easier to swallow liquids than it is to swallow food, but you are able to do both upside down. It is a lot harder because the muscles have to work harder in order to move that food and liquid down because they're technically moving it up. And although everybody can do it, it's technically gonna be harder for some people than others. My roommate in college is able to do it while I can't. He can do it with liquid but not solid. I can't do it with either. So I guess it just depends from person to person. It also depends how strong these muscles are. I'm not too sure how to strengthen those specifically. Um, but yeah, some people are able to do it, some people aren't. And also when you do it upside down, you're more likely to choke whether that's a liquid or a solid. So I wouldn't recommend it. But of course you can try just to see if you're able to, but make sure you have somebody nearby in case you do choke um, and you need someone to perform the Heimlich on you just to be safe. So yeah, that's a little bit about peristalsis, how you swallow, how you're able to swallow upside down, and kind of what happens in your digestive tract when you do swallow food or drink a liquid. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you all next time.